So the first thing that you want to do in order to prepare an iPad is open up Apple Configurator and you'll notice that I'm logged in as Adam so you'll see the list of Adam's iPads cart A and cart B and notice that we have no iPads connected with the USB cable right now so take your student iPad that you're wanting to prepare and connect it to the laptop using the USB connection that fits the iPad. Okay, and I've just about got mine connected here. So as you can see, now I have a device in the prepare badge and you can see the number one and the number one indicates that I have one device attached to this laptop ready to be prepared by Apple Configurator. So if I click on the badge, it gives me a number of settings. I can change these settings if I want to. So I've used this device to create tutorials before, so I'm going to change the name and I'm going to make sure that my supervision is toggled to on. Notice now that you've lost some of the capability to change these settings. Once you change the supervision to on, then the device will be updated to the latest iOS version. And notice that it will be erased and there's nothing you can change on those two settings. In this case, you do not want to restore to any backup. And then you can take a look at the profiles that I've got created for the Adams student iPads. And of course, if you're at Arnold, you'll have the Arnold names. And let's take a look at some of the restrictions that we've set under the uh, profile for restrictions. And if you want to change any of these, you're more than welcome to. Notice under the functionality tab, I am uh, pretty free with these restrictions. And if you think it needs to be nailed down a little bit more, you can go into the payload for the restrictions profile and change that before you install it on your device. The Applications tab, notice that uh, the students on the Adams iPads are allowed to use YouTube. And you can change the movies and TV shows ratings if you want to change that. And I'm going to cancel because we don't want to make any changes there. I've got my profile selected that I want to add to this particular device. Make sure that your wireless profile is selected. The wireless profile is going to allow for the iPad to automatically connect to the Wi-Fi setting on your campus. As we look at the Wi-Fi payload, you can see that uh, we have the SSID of GPISD. We want this to auto-join, so we've got that check marked. Any enterprise PEAP is one of the uh, protocols that we've selected and then the two certificates that we have to have installed on this device for it to authenticate to our wireless network. And again, these should not be changed. This said already, should already be done for you on the profiles that we've given you. There's the username for Adams Student iPads and the password I won't reveal, but I'm sure most of you already know this. And if you had made any changes, you would want to make sure that you scroll down and save. The other profile that it is there at the bottom is simply a web clip, nothing more than a shortcut. So you can add that if you want, if you have it, but uh, you don't have to. It's just a shortcut to the uh, GPISD website. So we've checked all of our settings. If we're happy with the settings, and any changes that we've made, then we can come down to the bottom and hit prepare. 
once we hit prepare we are now in the preparation stage for this particular iPad. Notice that Apple Configurator tells us how many minutes we have left before this device is prepared. And remember it will take a few minutes because Apple Configurator does have to go out and check the Apple server in order uh, to check and see if there are any iOS updates. If there are, it has to download that update and then it will have to install the update to this particular device. So it does take a few minutes and uh, I'm going to fast forward through this real quick like with the magic of uh, television and I'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes and we'll pick up after the uh, device has been prepared. Okay, notice now that the device shows to be prepared. It says one of one prepared and now the number one is showing up in the supervised badge rather than the prepare badge. So this device has been prepared. You don't want to prepare anything else at this point so you hit stop and now you're ready to click on the supervision badge. Notice now we've still got one USB connected or one device connected by USB and it tells us the name of that device. Notice again, even in the supervision mode, we still have for the most part the same settings options that we have in the prepare stage. We can make changes to those profiles if we'd like. We can change the name of the device if we need to. You can restore to backup if you want to do that as well. But most importantly, this is where you would go in and select the apps that you want to add to this device. And I'll show you how to do that in just one second. I think what I'm going to do now is turn on my reflector app and that way you'll be able to see what is going on with this iPad as we make the changes in supervision mode. So let me get that started. I will double click on my reflector and then once that fires up it will do a screen cast of the iPad over to my laptop so that you can see what's going on and once that comes up should just be another second or two here there it comes and I will adjust my screen so you can see Apple configurator on the left hand side and you'll be able to see the device that we're working with over on the right hand side Okay, now that I've got that adjusted, back to the settings that we have in supervision mode. Notice real quickly that if you installed your wireless profile correctly that you automatically have a wireless connection to your device. So the name of the device, if you want to number sequentially to multiple devices, you would check here. Notice if you want to restore the device at this point to a backup, you can do that. At this time, I'm just going to say don't restore to a backup. And now we're ready to take a look at the apps that we can install for this student device. Now, we've got several that we have in the Atoms list. If I were to install all of these apps right now, it would take us probably 15 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is just give you an idea of what this process is like. I'm going to select a few here and we'll add three or four, maybe five, but we don't want to add too many. We'll come down here to Destiny Quest so Kathy will be happy and we'll add that and dictionary to this student iPad. So now that we have the device or the app selected, we're ready to click refresh. 
Notice now that we've got about one minute or so before these apps have been installed on our student device. Always remember that when you are preparing and supervising in Apple Configurator to pay attention to what Apple Configurator is telling you. Do not look at your iPad and think, oh, I need to do something to the device itself because then you'll kind of get screwed up between your device and Apple Configurator. So notice after about 30 seconds, we have our first and second app now downloaded to the student device. Notice an Apple Configurator, it's still running. You don't have to hit stop at this point. If you want to check and see what's going on, you can click the down arrow and it will tell you which app is currently being installed. It gives you a little progress bar over there to the right. It tells you which apps are coming next. And we'll give it a few seconds here and install the rest of these apps. There's our third app. My luck, I would randomly choose some of the bigger apps that was in, on that list. So there's our fourth app and there go the rest of the apps and the other checklist things that Apple Configurator takes you through. So now we have all of our apps on page two that we have installed. We have the restrictions installed. Take a look at the settings. All of the profiles that have been installed on this device. Notice you've got your wireless, your restrictions, the certificate for trust, which is what Apple puts on the device when you have supervised it and the web clip which is neither here nor there but it did install properly notice now that you are connected automatically to the gpisd wireless network i'll click back on the Atoms test device. I uh, will click settings and I'm going to change the name in the supervision mode. Remember you can change the name whenever you're ready. You can do it in the preparation stage or you can do it in the supervised stage. So this device was used for configurator training. We'll click apply because we have made a change. Apple Configurator will apply that change. Notice how quickly that happened. So now if we go back to the iPad and check the general settings and we can look and see that the name has been changed to what we just now renamed it. So it looks like this device is ready to be deployed to our students on campus. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at shane.thornton at gpisd.org.